Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to discuss about uh, NAT instance and uh, we will discuss NAT gateway as well. And uh, my requirement is uh, to create VPC and uh, to create subnets, public subnet and private subnet. And uh, the, as we know, the private subnet uh, doesn't have internet access uh, directly through access anyway. So for that one, we will launch an ad instance on public subnet and uh, we will try to access uh, uh, EC2 instance under private subnet. So to access this EC2 on the private subnet, we need to install NAT on public subnet and uh, we need to provide internet access to the NAT. So that uh, we, if you ping that google.com or facebook.com anything so if you wanted to update uh, this ec2 instance or any packages through nat only it will be work let's get get into the demo and uh, we will create all public subnet private subnet route tables internet gateway everything so first i need to create a vpc i make it name as bc ready vpc the ip range should be i make it as 10.200.0.0.16 and uh, tenancy default uh, i'm creating vpc we should know whenever we create a VPC by default, uh, it should be created a route table. See, the route table is created uh, with name of BCRD VPC. BCRD VPC. You can make this route table also. You can make route table okay now we will create uh, two subnets the route table will uh, work as a route the traffic to the with respective instances based on inbound rules and outbound rules these are uh, three availability zones by default AWS is created. Now we will create two subnets. One is public subnet. Public subnet means which have the internet access to access available publicly. BC ready public subnet. So this I make it as AP South 1 availability zone and the CIDR range should be 10.200.0.0.16 24. And uh, if you want to another subnet, just make it add new subnet. BC ready and uh, private subnet. So this one I make it into a piece a different sub a different uh, availability zone one B, and the cider range should be ten dot two hundred dot one dot zero dot twenty four. and create subnet now i have created two subnet one is public subnet another one is private subnet now these both subnet by default it should be routing to the main route table routed to main route table see if you see this one Uh, 
see the subnet associated with the um, main route table subnet association okay main vpc now we will uh, create internet gateway and we will attach to the vpc so that our vpc can access via internet gateway to the internet now create vpc bc ready i am giving name as bc ready internet gateway VPC is created. Now we will attach this VPC to the this internet gateway to the our own VPC. It is attached. Now we will edit the main route table. Whenever we create a VPC by default, uh, this route table is created. Uh, we will make, we will call it as main route table, and um, we will add internet uh, gateway to the public subnet. Okay. VPC routes edit route table and add route and uh, the destination should be internet gateway so our internet gateway is added and the destination should be access all over means I make it all zero all traffic and save changes now both subnets are pointing to the public unless until we mentioned which one is we need public or which one we need uh, private okay now i want one is public and another one is private okay i don't uh, both to be in public now let's create a one more uh, route table route tables create route table BC ready private route table and uh, I have attached to my VPC we just created the route table now we need to do subnet association we just created route table and we don't any subnet association if you go here subnet association we have two subnets right one is public subnet another one is private subnet so edit subnet association and we need to select private subnet association save associations now this step is done subnet association is done now we just need to launch NAT instance on public subnet now go to EC2 so NAT instance same like a EC2 instance uh, so we need to maintain 
NAT instance best, uh, depends on uh, requirement like how much CPU, how much RAM, those details we just need to mention just launch instance BC ready net demo okay instead of selecting this AMIs you just need to browse more AMIs and community AMIs you can search with NAT here. So you can select uh, verified provider and you just select Amazon AMI VPC NAT. Okay, and I'm selecting the first one. And the same way, we just need to create uh, the instance type should be T2 medium or T2 small. It all depends. And key pair, you just need to select your key pair. And uh, here, we just need to select our network network settings, edit network settings. Instead of default VPC, you can create, you can select your own VPC and the subnet should be public subnet because NAT sit, sits on public subnet and the NAT should uh, we need a public IP right so we just enable auto assign public IP if you disable you don't get public IP and security groups we will see and uh, SHS add security groups inbound security and make it all traffic for time being All traffic anywhere. Display rules and uh, that's all. Launch instance. Okay. Custom PCP. Yeah. Now, so NAT instance is created. Now you just need to go to the route table and add now NAT instance to the private route table. So route tables. We have two route table, one is public and another one is private route table. And uh, you just need to select private route table. This is main route table, uh, BC ready route table, and uh, this is we created uh, private route table. And uh, you just need to select the private route table, add routes, edit routes. So you just need to select instance, NAT instance, the name should be instance and the instance ID should be the same 06. If you want to 
see this is the instance id the same one and the destination should be public means uh, we make it as all zeros and save changes so once this is done i just need to sell whether this nat instance is up and running everything is fine and we got public ip as well now one more thing we need to do we just need to disable source and destination check so select the nat instance networking change source destination check and you just need to stop save changes okay this is done so this is the we have done as of now until we didn't launch any ec2 instance on private subnet in public subnet we have launched one instance like nat instance and we created uh, route tables private route table and uh, attached to the nat instance and we have attached vps to the internet gateway now to test this demo the nat instance we will launch one instance on uh, private subnet and we don't have we don't provide a public ip to the this instance and we will test through nat instance now launch one more instance on private subnet launch instance test demo net and i am selecting amazon linux m is fine instant type i'm going with 32 medium and uh, key pair same key pair i'm selected and uh, i'm editing the network settings so i'm selecting my own vpc and this time subnet should be private subnet and i don't want to be public ip so i am disabling now shs anywhere now i i just provided access to this all traffic and launch instance the only thing we don't have this ip for public ip if you check now the test demo nat instance we selected private subnet so you don't have public ip okay now to update this vps uh, this vm uh, to download some dependencies through nat only it should be work now let's connect nat instance it's saying failed and is what was that issue? Let's connect and uh, check. Nat instance.
I am currently into the NAT instance. So if I do anything here, like it will be updated my VM because this VM have internet access. So from NAT, I just need to up connect it to the EC2 instance on private. Through SHS, we will connect. To get into the private subnet, we just need to pem file. Okay. Let me copy this pem file and uh, bc ready dot pemp paste. Now SHS iPhan I BC ready dot pemp username is EC2 iPhan user and the uh, we just need to select private IP. And it's saying permissions denied. Okay, you just need to change the permissions. CH mode, I'm giving 400. Because 6444, uh, it is not the right permissions to log in. Now try to use the same command. See, now you are into the new instance 89. You are into the private instance of uh, those. Now, if you want to update this VM, you can update as well. See, if you ping google.com, you are getting the response. So, instead of copying directly the PEM file to the VM, so you can do uh, port forwarding or you can add uh, those key into the this VM like uh, in the mobile extern, I'll show you SHS agent uh, forwarding with mobile extern on Windows. You just need to go to settings, configure, and select SHS. Uh, the thing is like settings, SHS. You just need to select just need to select PEM file add key sorry the key is added say close Say OK. You must restart mobile extern. Do you want to no. Yes. Now, currently, I am into the my public subnet NAT instance so you don't need fem file to log into the see without fem file now you are into the 
um, this VM, the private VM, uh, EC2 instance on private subnet. Okay. Uh, that's all about in this demo. So if you like the video, please share and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.